So, my first actual video is just me, rambling about my opinions on the English language. Good job, Ken. So, English, it's a language, huh? Eng English also happens to be an extremely dumb language that I want to complain about. So, using my non-existent PhD in the following fields, I will give you my professional opinion on the language. So, what exactly is wrong with English? Well, a lot of things, but I don't have all the time in the world to go over them. So, I'll only be going over a few main points. Ready? Go. Yes, I already know Grade and Underrated made a video about this, but sh shut up. So, where to begin? Let's start with this bombshell. There is no real reason the alphabet needs to be in order. Think about it. Think of one real reason the alphabet has to be in order. As long as a kid knows all the letters in the alphabet, they don't need to be in order. The, alph the alphabet is helpful, but not necessary. The entire system is made out of lies, Sharon. No wonder your husband's cheating on you. Anyways, next point that Grade and Underrated probably already did ten times better than me, but oh well. Letters that make the sounds of other letters should not exist. Looking at you, C and X. Also, Q, you need to get your shit together. Really long Latin words. Latin is a dead language. It died quite a while ago, but English hasn't quite moved on from the car crash that wasn't their fault. That was the fault of the Western Roman Empire. There are hella words that have a Latin word in them, and that's a hella too much. I remember I had a test in the phys ed, yeah really, about the different muscles in the body, and I couldn't remember anything because of the words that were all impossible to remember, like deltoids or latissimus dorsi. Am I just creating this reason because of personal grudge? Yeah, maybe I am. Saxifragus, more like big plant, big unalive rock. I say we just all abandon the word use of words entirely and go back to saying yaldiv and that. I before E, except after C, except in foreign, except in weight, except in reindeer, except in rain, except in when sacrificing a virgin goat on the western face of Mount Rainier on precisely 11:30 p.m. while chanting various prayers in different tongues in a tribute to the god of flesh, blood, and abomination, whilst eating a cheese sandwich on a Tuesday in the month of November. That joke didn't really have anything to do with the point I was trying to make. I just wanted to make it. Weird. Hey, this fruit seems pretty nice. Let's call it Anas. 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 Pineapple. Buffalo, 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 buffalo is an actual sentence. Alright, good night, kids. So, what do we learn about English today? Well, I mean, um... Uh, not anything really, except that English is just German, if German thought the carbon monoxide alarm was making too much noise. What? You thought this allotment of correspondence from the World Wide Web would authentically enlighten you with a scrap of substance? Poppycock, I do not comprehend why you simpletons would ever begin to surmise such a thing. Get lost, nerds. So, my first actual video. That was a video. When I create these videos, I always have this mindset of, hey, it's gonna be the greatest video ever, I can't wait to make this, and when I finish it, I'm just like, wow, this is hot garbage. But hey, I still say this is a big improvement over the last video, so that's still good. This is also my first dive into lip syncing, which could have been done better, but eh, I'm semi-satisfied with it. I'd like to thank everyone for a massive positive reception on my last video, for the eight of you who actually watched it, and it motivates me to create more of this stuff, even if I already know some of you in real life. Alright, that's that, and I'll see you all in the next video. The next video will be something more goofy and comical, and will hopefully take less time than this did, but we'll see. And now, the weather.